how do you bend high density polyethylene plastic to 90 degrees? I'm going to show you. Yeah, building a DIY expedition camper, there's a lot of things we have to figure out. A lot of little things, especially when I'm doing it pretty sophisticated here. And as you remember from the last video, we went ahead and built a maker-made Maslow CNC machine. We're using that to cut all of our plywood bamboo pieces for all the interior wood paneling and also used it for a little bit of these HTP plastic cuts for what I call the bumper box. Put the panels around that and that has worked out really well and you may have noticed when you're watching that there was something a little bit unique in that there was a partial cut in one of those. And that's right what I mean by partial cut is not cut all the way through as you can see here in this upper corner of this panel and there's two panels like this and this is you can see right there where it's just a partial cut through so what i'm doing here is to use it for bending some of this plastic panel that looks great i'm going to go do the other one and then we'll heat these up and put them in a vise or somewhere to kind of jig heat them up fold them over and do some sort of clamping mechanism to hold them in that bent 90 degree position. On to the second door. So what I did here is I set up a V groove router bit into my router table and align that right exactly in the center of where that partial cut was, partially cut through the panel and made sure it's centered on that and cut a little bit deeper so that way I have two 45 degree angles on that cut. So this is exactly where I'm gonna bend my panel over. Now let's give these a nice round over before I bend them because it'll be obviously harder to do this after I bend them. So this is just to smooth out these edges. Just like that. Give a nice smoothness. It's excellent. It Help to keep these edges from being as sharp. When touching them, just a little deburring bit. That's all this is. Just feel the edges. Feel for any roughness. They all feel great. There we go. Now we're ready to go and do our bending. That looks great. All right. Now let's clean these all up. Little stringies. And that's it. A little deburring tool. I'll put a note in the comments or in the description of these tools. A link to them because they're really great. And this is it. You just end up with these little plastic stringies. Not sharp at all. And so they can easily just go right in the trash. Or you can just vacuum them right up. It's clean, easy to work with. This is one thing great about this plastic. All right, so I'm gonna try bending this. Never done this before, so we're gonna to learn together. But I have my nice V groove cut into there. It's cut pretty far through. This quarter inch HGP, it's a little more than halfway through. And so I'm just gonna apply heat across this cut mark on both sides. And then I am gonna slip it in the vise here down here, I have just a couple pieces of aluminum angle. So I get my plan to set this in here, clamp this down. Aluminum angle is just to make the vise a little bit wider. So that way I don't hopefully get some bending and stuff here in the corners. Yeah, and that's it. So let's go get to do this, give it a try. Okay, just swap down my aluminum angle so I make sure I have a little more length to cover this whole piece. And I think I need to heat it to about 350, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have a temperature Setting on this, I could pull out an infrared thermometer and put it on here, and that would tell me, but I think I'm just gonna go by look and feel here. Got this nice nozzle on the gun, the electric heat gun here, this DeWalt battery powered one. And I'm just gonna hold this piece pretty close to plastic. Just wanna kinda really direct it right into this gap. But maybe I don't need to heat the outside, but I figure it probably can't hurt it to do that. Now the question is, is this hot enough? Now it just, I can start to see the plastic starting to melt a little bit from the tip of this heat gun. So that's good. I'm just going to not touch it on this side. Just heat from the outside here. Soften that up. Heat again here. I think I need to get it to a point where it's pretty much just before melting. All right, I'm going to give this a try. Feeling pretty good about that. Try to get this so it's right level and bend it. And voila! Look at that! That went pretty well. And I want probably just a slight overbend. 
which I would say that has. But now I'm going to have to hold it down this position. Of course, it's hot. So I'm going to get some weights to put on there. So I'll uh, do that. All right, I think that went great. Really awesome. We just have a little bit of weight here, some a bottle of rubbing alcohol. Just to add a little bit of weight, keep this bend going down. I want it to be just slightly over bent, which I think I'll have here, just probably just a little over 90. At least it'll hold that 90. It holds this position. Otherwise, this piece wants to spring up some. But it's starting to, I'm sure, set. Still hot. I think it's going to be hot for a while. There's a lot of heat applied to it. So I'm just going to let that sit for a while. And then, of course, I'll come back and check it. Hope it's great, but I'll check it. I'll give it some time to cool. I'll let you know how long it, it ends up cooling for. You can see it's already leveling out. It's not springing up anymore, so that's really great. So I can move this up. That'll help absorb some of that heat so it can cool down a little bit sooner. Awesome. Okay, let's come back and try it in a little bit. So you can see how that turned out. Pretty good. Really good. So now it's time to do this other one. Can you see that angle? That right there is because I pulled it out too soon. So you gotta make sure you don't pull it out so soon. Let it sit in there more. I pulled out probably after five or 10 minutes of cooling. It probably needs to stay in there for at least an hour or two. Fortunately, it was still very warm and hot. So I just went ahead and reheated it back up and bent it back over to get that 90 degrees I was looking for. And that worked out just fine. Just go ahead and let it cool a lot longer this time. I also devised a bit of a better clamping mechanism here with two lumen angles and clamps and that worked a lot better as well to clamp it down and hold it in there. And then I went ahead and also just drilled some holes in each one of the opposing angles here and went ahead and bolted in some aluminum angle at really just to help hold its shape and give it a little additional strength uh, for retaining that shape. There we go. Better. Now you'll notice that I offset these just so I can get the wrench and everything installing and make it a little easier to install and intentionally put the wider on the outside versus the top. I'll show you why when I mount it. But you can see it looks good. The angle looks very nice, right? And you can see here's maybe it's hard to see, but just a tiny little bit of pull up there. It's more the bow in this HDP, especially after bending it, heating it, and bending it and not storing it very flat for months now after it being cut. So it'll be all right. This will straighten out with time. At least that gives it some now structural strength to keep it from bowing back out. And you'll see why that is important after I get these installed because these actually provide a little bit of a security benefit. So what I devised here for my bent panels is, you can see there's still a little bit of a, they pulled out a little bit. So I cut a little loom mangle in there, 16th of an inch thick, one by one aluminum angle and then just drill some holes here into this on both sides and put some little 1032 flathead screws so they're recessed in measured these and the angles drilled them and then use those to mark these holes so that are perfectly aligned now i'm going to tighten these up i'm going to see how much is going to pull it in yeah it's only a 16th inch angle but it just needs to kind of help hold it in place that's it i'm not looking for some incredibly perfect angle here. Let's see how this holds. You can see those little black lock nuts just perfectly flush in there. Now as I tighten this, we'll see how much this pulls in. And it is. We can see it pulling in. We can feel it pulling in. Yeah, that's definitely pulling it in. It was relatively hard to push on this and push it in. Granted, I'm only talking a few degrees of angle there, but that was tough. And I can get these even tighter just to make sure I have a good solid connection there. Now those are tight. You can see there's just an ever so slight angle there. Is there an angle there? It's pretty hard to tell if there is. But you can see there's a little bit of waviness here in the middle where there isn't an angle or a screw. You can see it pulling away ever so slightly, totally fine for my application. So that goes to show that really this probably will pull out. The HCP will probably pull out a little bit with this little home DIY bending, you know, with just a heat gun on the edge here instead of a nice kind of heated 90 degree flat bar. But a little bit of angle aluminum there looks like that'll work to hold this in. So now I can go ahead and prep these for my insulation. And if I could have done anything better with this, it would have been to probably cut that V groove a little bit deeper 
course, there's always a risk of cutting it too deep. And then, of course, also being able to have a little more heat applied and a little better clamping mechanism. But ultimately, this worked out really well, and I'm stoked about it. And this is going to get installed here coming up, along with several other videos of this DIY Expedition Camper build, including cutting the hard surface countertops with our Maslow CNC cutter, and also installing these panels, which will showcase the electrically locking fuel fill doors. And then, of course, also my electric slide out solar panels and also intro deck and a bunch of others so thanks for watching look forward to sharing more with you do certainly subscribe and share with others and hope you like this video thanks